I'm in the peaceful part of town. Oh, there's a car coming. Why? Just let me live. I figure we just talk a little bit about life today. People keep telling me that Canada looks depressing. And I'm like, no. Does that look depressing to you? Just because it's a little chilly and there's cars that interrupt your life. I'm telling you right now, if I could snap my fingers and end up back in Thailand, I would not do it. I am so enjoying this cool air. Something's changed. Now that I'm back on like the correct Canadian diet, just bacon and mostly bacon fat and bacon meat, the cold just feels so much more tolerable. It doesn't bother me at all. It's actually refreshing. I love it. I love going for these long walks. Like once you bundle up, when I first got here, it was a bit of a shock to my system. I showed up in like a rain jacket and a baseball cap. It was a bit much. I can't function in the new cold weather. I'm not adapting. My eyes are watering. My acne is cold. All that. And it was freezing. But now that I've got some gear, got my down coat, a wool hat, it's like, you can't phase me. And this is glorious. Glory, my friend. She's So I feel reborn out here as a new found Canadian and I had to leave the country to really appreciate it. I had to go see the tropics, see what it's like and really it's just never ending heat. Constantly it's so hot, there's no escape. There's two major reasons why I feel like I'm thriving now in Canadia town and it's really, one is the diet, one I'm fat, I'm fat now, I got a fat body and my fat body doesn't get cold anymore. So I can tolerate the cool, and it doesn't bother me at all. Second reason, I'm no longer a fruit boy bitch, and I don't have to go get piles of fruit on my stupid bike in the winter. That was the worst part about winter for me. That's why I hated it the most, because I kept having to go two or three times a week to reload ripe fruit, and it's freezing cold. I mean, the temperature is not bad walking on a bike, however wind chill factors in your life what i can't handle that it's too much wind but now i just i feel so sustainable just i can go for walks for hours and never get cold it's like maybe i haven't felt the minus 30 yet but still it's probably like three degrees right now i'm overdressed but my fat body likes it i just ran into my friend from before high school i can't believe that my buddy Jonathan, it was so strange. I recognized him, he looks very different, but I was like, Jonathan. He's like, oh my God, he recognized me right away. That was so cool. Back when I was in like grade four to six, and I've told this story before, but my cousin prank called a bunch of my friends. I was like the popular kid playing football at recess, dating all the girls, grade six, how you doing? But dating back then was just like, we're dating. Let's never talk, ever. But we're dating. Love you. So my cousin prank called them all, and then they all just said, we don't want to be your friend anymore. And I was cast aside. I was the loner. It was shit. And so I met this guy, Jonathan, and we were both just loners. We became potheads. We made music together. Fun times. Fun times. It was good to see him. Oh my god, I used to work here. I didn't even realize it. I was Googling this place. It's completely changed. That was the restaurant where I said somebody ordered a meal and they're allergic to onions. And they're like, please don't put onions in this. For the love of God, that's just the only thing you got. Gluten's fine, soy's fine. Just no onions, I'll die. And they get it and there's onions in there. And then it was the manager that got pissed. She's like, what kind of person comes out to eat? They got allergies. She got all defensive. That was that place. I was the dishwasher. We're at an all-you-can-eat sushi buffet. Girlfriend, she is here for all those wondering. Where's your girlfriend? Why isn't she here? Have you seen her yet? We saw each other. So we're gonna eat food. I'll show it to you. We'll do a montage. Montage. <laughs> There's mine. They tricked me. They tricked me with the fake crab meat. Damn it. So, 
It's the next day, my friend. We're out for a walk in nature. We had that sushi buffet. Neither of us were satisfied at all. You hardly had anything. You had little yam rolls. I was like, eat more. I tried to force feed her, but she wouldn't do it. And I was eating. I ate the whole ship. I had all that raw fish. and I think it's... The low fat was key to keeping me hungry all night. They should have more fat. Then people would eat less. They're losing money. They're losing money. I'm giving you business advice. You should take it. So we're out in nature. The glorious sun. People keep saying Canada is depressing. Are y'all kidding me? like a snowy Christmas. Santa's, Flat Earth Santa's blessing us all right now. He loves us. In Santa we trust. Oh, we got a family coming. It's always awkward when you're vlogging and a family comes and they stare at you and they wonder what, why is he talking to that camera? But I'd do it. I face my fears in life. Just face your fears and you'll get over it. The family will m move on. What are they going to eat tonight? Turkey? Y'all going to have turkey? I think they will. Oh, we got another one. It's even worse when there's just one person for some reason. The groups are easier. But thankfully, she's not looking at us. <laughs> she probably heard that. That got awkward. So, we walk. We got this body fat scale. I'm obese. It says I'm bordering on obesity. I'm like 150 pounds. I'm trying to gain more weight. It's a fat shaming scale. I might make a video on it. It says I'm obese. Walking backwards, but I'm going forwards. But sometimes I go sideways, or maybe in a spiral. He's walking in a circle. Where's he going? He'll end up in a park. What a great day He's walking somewhere right. We're gonna leave Thank you so much for watching the video today So you're giving it a thumbs up if you like Thumbs down If you rode a reindeer to work He asked for coconut water But you gave him vitamin water and he wasn't happy because there's preservatives in it it wasn't the best thumb down episode but we push on thank you for watching the video subscribe for more videos and I'll see you in the next one shoe bow oh. <laughs>